first. Robert, it is gusty and cooler than we're used to in May. Uh -huh. Yeah, a nice night tonight. It will get kind of frosty over parts of the valley, and tomorrow night it looks like much of the valley may see some frost. More on that in just a few minutes. Until then, a live look outside on the CoreWinauto.com Valley Sky Cam, part of the Storm Team Sky Cam Network. A beautiful sunset out there. Finally, a peak of sunshine after seeing lots of cloud cover today, and we'll see a lot more of that sun as we head through the day tomorrow. Current temperature 56 degrees, winds out of the north and northeast. At 20 miles per hour, we'll continue to see those breezy north winds as we head through the overnight hours. Some 40s already. Langdon and Devil's Lake, 53 in Grand Forks, also 53 up in Bedette, 54 in Detroit Lakes, a pair of 52s for Wapaton and in the Fergus Falls area. Winds, as mentioned, still gusty. We'll see those gusts at times over 30 miles per hour t this evening. And then tonight, they'll subside just a bit, around 10 to 20 miles per hour tonight and through the day tomorrow with some stronger gusts. Still a lot of clouds out there. But you saw on the uh, tower cam some breaks in those clouds off towards the west and skies best chance for them clearing will be in our northwestern counties. and That's where we could see a touch of frost. Not a whole lot of rain off towards the west and northwest, but a whole lot of rain off towards the southeast. And that's where we are seeing some sprinkles showing up on the radar. The best chance of seeing any sprinkles will be further to the southeast where you're seeing the darker greens, even the little patches of yellow. That's where you have the best chance of some of that rain reaching the ground. There's all kinds of rain reaching the ground off towards the east. Showers, thunderstorms, some of those strong making their way through the Minneapolis St. Paul area. Severe thunderstorms over parts of Wisconsin for the second night in a row dealing with that severe weather and even one tornado warning continuing over parts of northern Illinois, off towards the west, snow, and some of that will be tremendous snow. Some areas in the higher elevations, southeastern Wyoming, northern Colorado, could see up to three feet before all is said and done. There are those showers to the southeast. They'll get on out of here later on tonight towards tomorrow morning. We'll see decreasing clouds from northwest to southeast by tomorrow afternoon. We're going to see lots of sunshine across the region, and Northerly breezes will continue. Good chance for northern lights tonight, but we're going to have a lot of clouds. Even better chance for northern lights tomorrow night under crystal clear skies. I mentioned the frost. There's the frost advisory for the Devil's Lake Basin. Overnight tonight, temperatures dip into the mid-30s. Protect those plants. Bring the potted plants indoors. Here in Fargo, we start off in the low 40s, mid-50s by lunchtime. Later on in the day, we top it out in the low 60s. Picture of the day. A nice gold pinch over in the Comstock, Minnesota area. Thanks to Tiffany for sending that in. Going to use it as the background to our seven-day forecast. Cool over the next few days. Mid-60s by Friday. Even cooler on Saturday with a chance for some late-day rain. But warmer on a Sunday and Monday. I'm excited to hear that warmer word. <laughs> and it'll so eventually exciting. get a whole lot warmer. So enjoy the cool weather for now. All right.